Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.6, most likely the last big update to iOS 15 before we move on to iOS 16. So in this video, I will show you guys 18 settings which you should change right now on your iOS 15.6 device. Or at least just make sure you check each of these settings and have them configured make sure that you have them configured the right way on your device because they're really really important for the performance security and privacy of your device now the first two are two settings that you cannot actually change you don't have just like a usual switch to turn on or off but it's really important to know first of all a new setting that apple has added on iOS 15.6 and this has to do with Safari. So when you go to Safari and you try to clear all of the data and history, you will have a new option right here. So if you have tabs opened on Safari, you will get these options right here. Now this is really important because if you have something opened and you wanna clear everything, then you wanna close those tabs as well because those will remain right there. So if you just wanna have a clear history on Safari, you make sure you tap on close tabs so everything will be closed and cleared. So make sure you do this and this actually won't pop up if you're trying to do that from the Safari app, if you're trying to clear the history from the Safari app, it will only work if you do it from the settings. Next up is carrier updates. Make sure that you go ahead and do this every time you update your device because it's really important that you might have an update from your carrier and that will be really important. Now for that to show up, you will need to go to your settings, go to general and right here, you will have the about section. Only thing you need to do is come here and it will show up if you have a carrier update. Now these new settings that have been added on iOS 15.5 that was on the pod podcast app, now you can find them on the settings here as well. And they're really important if you just wanna save a ton of storage on your device. And of course, if you use the podcast app. So you go to setting podcasts and right here will have automatically download so you can configure what you wanna download. So from your subscriptions that you have on the podcast app, you can choose to download on the latest episodes per show that would be really nice so you don't have all the episodes there taking up space on your device then you have two three five up to ten episodes that you can download per show so it will download let's say if you choose five five episodes for each show and that's a lot actually they will take a lot of space on your device you can also do that based on time so last day last seven days up to 30 days or all new episodes which of course i don't recommend because they take up a lot of space on your device the next thing you need to make sure you have configured the right way on your device are notifications for tracking so you go to notifications and make sure you find tracking right here so Let's just find tracking. So here we have tracking notifications. What you need to do, make sure that you have these always on. Now what they will do is of course notify you if a device like an AirTag is tracking you. So that's really, really important. Another setting that you can find right here that is really important as well is that you go ahead and choose persistent for banner style because if you get the notification you have a banner which will stay for like two or three seconds and you might miss that so you want to make sure you don't miss that notification go to banner style right here and choose persistent instead of temporary now when talking notifications of course we have the new scheduled summary options on ios 15 but of course you will need some notifications right at the time that you basically someone sends you like a message so you need to get that right away of course some things are important you don't have to have them on the scheduled summary so for things like messages you can go ahead and choose immediate delivery and also enable time sensitive notifications so basically you will always be delivered immediately the notifications from this app and they will also remain for an hour on the lock screen of your device so for messages and things that are really important to you always make sure you choose immediate delivery and we're still on notifications here of course notifications are a big part of ios so you need to configure them the right way and now we have weather so if you go to weather you will have the usual notification settings but if you swipe down here we'll have weather notification settings you tap right there and it will take you actually to the app not the settings app but it will take you 
to the weather app. So what you have here is options to turn on se severe weather and next hour precipitation. You can turn them on for your location right here. And you can also choose to turn them on for any city that you have added on the list by of course just going to your locations right here and choose to configure any one you want. And now we're moving to privacy and we're talking about apps. Go to privacy and security. And of course, what we have here, the first thing, tracking. Make sure you check this list and see which apps are tracking you. Now, of course, once you have a lot of apps on your device and you're just basically going through the setup of an app, you might just allow an app accidentally maybe to track you. So what you need to do, go ahead and check the list right here and make sure you have turned off tracking for apps that you want to. Another really important iOS setting that's very useful actually upload unused apps. I know a lot of people don't actually use this feature, but it's really helpful. So you will find it right here under the app store settings. What you need to do simply go ahead and turn this on and any app that you have installed on your device that will stay for a long time there unused because you don't use it or things like that. You have just installed it. You're not using it. It will automatically delete that app from your device. But don't worry, your data will still be there. So all you have to do is go ahead and install the app back and it will actually re just actually restore all the data from that app. Only the app will be deleted, not your data. Next up, we're moving to seller data options. Now right here, you will have an option called limit IP address tracking. What this does is that it will protect your privacy by hiding your IP address from trackers in Safari and mail as well, you will have the description right here. So make sure you go ahead and turn this on right here and you will have the exact same option for Wi-Fi networks as well. When you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, you just tap the little I button and you will get the same option. And while we're here on the settings of cellular, you will have another option right here that you can turn on, of course, if you don't worry about your data being used. And of course, all the megabytes, the gigabytes that you have consumed, you can go ahead and turn Wi-Fi assist. Now, what this will do, of course, the word, the name tells you what it does. It just assists your Wi-Fi when the connection is not that strong. It automatically moves to seller, so you won't even notice that there's like a bad internet connection connection and this is super cool super useful if you have of course a lot of data you have an unlimited plan or something like that and you don't worry about it make sure you go ahead and turn it on and let's move on now to the mail settings go to mail settings go to privacy protection protect mail activity make sure you go ahead and enable this now this will work by hiding your ip address and loading remote content privately in the background of course even if you don't open a message at all so that's really really cool of course this will make it harder for senders to follow your mail activity this is really cool actually apple has a big focus on privacy and of course you should check check all these privacy settings and make sure you have them configured the right way and when talking about privacy head on to privacy and security and just down here you will have app privacy report always make sure that you have this turned on and what it does is of course it will let you know everything that apps use on your device so if i go to snapchat right here you can see it tells me when it has used my camera my photos my microphone and my contacts as well so if you just want to know what apps are using on your device always make sure that you have the app privacy report turned on Another privacy settings, but now in Safari, head on to Safari and make sure you have enabled hide IP address. This will hide your IP address from known trackers. So of course they don't follow you or find your location based on your IP address. Make sure you go ahead and turn this on as well. Now this next setting is one of my favorite that I use a lot on my device all my devices actually so you go to focus here and you will have an option to share across devices what this will do is that it will turn on the same focus mode on all of your devices so right there you can see i'm not touching my iphone but i'm on my mac here if i just turn on a focus mode you can see right there it actually does turn on as well on my device so i don't have to worry about turning on the same focus mode on all of my devices i can turn it on or off just like this 
on any of my devices and it will work on all of them. Next up, we're moving to location services and these are really important as well. Always make sure that you check which apps or services are using your location. So you will have all the apps right here and then you have system services and see which apps are actually using your location. So now you will have all kinds of different options. You can see we have the option while using or while using the app or the widget or when you open it next time it will ask you and you will have precise location as well. So make sure you just check your apps and see which apps have access to your location and make sure you have these settings configured the right way. Now you do the same for the device's sensors like the camera, the Bluetooth, microphone and things like that. So you will have all of them right here. So you will have Bluetooth, you have your photos, you have the camera here. You can just check these apps and see which apps have access to your camera or to your microphone. Make sure you always turn off microphones, cameras, things like that for apps that you maybe have just installed and not using or you don't actually know or you just don't want them to have access to things like that. Make sure you always have these checked. And last but not least, move on to the messages settings and this is a really important setting. If you have a few devices, maybe you have an iPad or a Mac and they are just laying around the house and if you have these turned on right here, you will actually get messages on those devices as well. So someone sends you an iMessage, you will get it on other devices as well, like your MacBook or your iPad. Maybe someone else uses them as well. They don't want your messages to show there. Make sure you have these turned off. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 18 iPhone settings that you should turn off or change on your iOS 15.6 device. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I see you on the next one.